Welcome. Deconsolidation in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management can be used when we receive a mixed pallet that needs to be split and stored in separate handling units. Deconsolidation can also be used for larger quantities of a single material that needs to be broken down in smaller quantities before being put away. Let us begin by looking at some of the benefits of deconsolidation during goods receipt. You can efficiently manage the receipt and put away of mixed handling units. Likewise, you can efficiently break down larger quantities of the same material in relevant put away handling units. In addition, you can secure that goods are stored according to their defined requirements. Let us look at the fundamentals of deconsolidation. For deconsolidation to be possible, we need to define a deconsolidation work center. This is where all the incoming handling units, mixed material, single material or large material, that need to be broken into new handling units go before final put away. We will now take you through an example of deconsolidation. We will work with an already existing inbound delivery based on a purchase order for two different items, EWM A60 and EWM A61. As we can see, it will be delivered in a mixed handling unit, with HU number 812983. We use the Change Inbound Delivery app to look at the inbound delivery. Going forward we will jump quickly between the RF device and the warehouse monitor as we progress with our work. The deconsolidation process itself could be done completely with the RF app alone. When looking at the same inbound delivery in the warehouse monitor, we can see the goods are at the inbound door, waiting to be unloaded. Two planned, yet blocked, put away tasks, one for each product, are also visible on the monitor. On the RF device, we choose inbound, then unloading and unloading by delivery. We key in our inbound delivery number, 25009. The system prompts us for the expected handling unit. We scan the handling unit, and it is the expected HU812983. System then guides us to the goods receipt area. We confirm that unloading has been fully completed for the inbound delivery. When we refresh the warehouse monitor, we can see that the unloading task has been completed. We can see that our two final put away tasks are still blocked. An additional movement has been added. We need to move the handling unit from the goods receipt area to the deconsolidation station. This is because our inbound HU requires more put away tasks than what has been defined as a deconsolidation attribute. It will require two, which is more than one, and need to be split, or as we will call it, deconsolidated. We return to the RF device. When we try to move the HU from the goods receipt area by choosing inbound processes, put away, and then put away by HU, the system will, when we scan the right HU barcode, direct us to the deconsolidation area, DECO. Once again, in the warehouse monitor, we press refresh. We can see that the two original put away tasks are still blocked, and that the inbound HU has been brought to the deconsolidation area. Back on the RF device, we will log into the DECO area by choosing inbound processes, deconsolidation, then deconsolidate automatically. We scan the HU. By pressing F3, we can see the content, two materials. We scan the first material, create a new handling unit for it, and confirms the quantity we put in it. It gets number 812984. For the second item, the system asks if we want to keep the original HU as put away HU. We confirm. Before the process step is complete, we need to close the two handling units. We do that by going back, do a page down, before selecting HU maintenance. We scan the two handling units and close them, one by one. The consolidation is now complete. Finally, we are ready to perform the final put away for our two materials, the EWM A60 and EWM A61. A quick look at the warehouse monitors confirms that the two put away tasks are now ready to roll. For the last time, we revert to the RF device, choose inbound processes, put away, and put away by HU. We scan one put away HU at the time, bring it to the put away bin and confirm. The process is repeated for the second height you. Before we end this demo, we take a quick look at the warehouse monitor. It confirms that all put away tasks have been completed. Mission accomplished. 
The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in Classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits of deconsolidation during goods receipt. You can efficiently manage the receipt and put away of mixed handling units. Likewise, you can efficiently break down larger quantities of the same material in relevant put away handling units. In addition, you can secure that goods are stored according to their defined requirements. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.